I guess I just wanted to share what I'm doing as I'm trying to figure out how to navigate being someone who likes to do creative things like writing, making YouTube videos, like who also has like a lot of health issues and chronic illnesses. My brain is not working today. I'm going to set a 20 minute timer. Hi guys, I'm Sarah. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If this is like your first video of me, I feel like this looks like a hot mess. Today is July 1st. It's a Monday and I am just not doing well. <laughs> I am having what I would call a flare up. If you have a chronic illness, you know what I'm talking about. This is like you cannot control when this happens and it can kind of like totally derail your life. <laughs> Any plans that you had and whatever plans I have for the day are kind of just scrapped but this is something that's happening a lot to me recently I've always had like a chronic illness I've had rheumatoid arthritis and a couple different like other autoimmune diseases that I've had like my whole life but this past year I had been having a lot of health issues with like possibly like needing my gallbladder removed having all these like digestive issues and I had to go through like a lot of different tests and stuff this year to figure out what was going on and I've been struggling in 2024 to figure out how to keep going with my goals and keep trying to write a book when I'm not feeling well and in the past I feel like it hasn't been so often as it's been this year the not feeling well that I could kind of like just take a break rest get better and then like get back to my regular like plan and just kind of like catch up a little bit but this year I've been finding that it's way more constant and I'm just having a time with it and I kind of like came to the realization recently that I will never meet my goal of publishing a book if I keep having to wait until I'm feeling my absolute best to work on stuff so I've been trying to work on some different like strategies different whatever I can kind of do to be able to keep working it's July and I didn't release a video in June at all even though I've been filming a lot of videos and I have so many in my little Final Cut Pro right now to edit and it's just like it hasn't happened I've wanted it to happen it just hasn't so I just thought I would take you guys along and if anyone out there has chronic illnesses like I do or just things going on, I guess I just wanted to share what I'm doing as I'm trying to figure out how to navigate being someone who likes to do creative things like writing, making YouTube videos, like who also has like a lot of health issues and chronic illnesses. Basically I've just realized that like I don't want feeling sick to get in the way of my dreams of publishing a book, of like having a YouTube channel and doing Doing all this stuff i love connecting with you guys i love creating videos i love editing videos i love writing characters like it's so fun and i want to keep doing all this stuff i can't wait until there's like a perfect moment to be able to keep going and having this progress so i thought i would document today or however long this little flare lasts this week probably just today honestly it depends on how i'm feeling of what i'm going to do to kind of like trick myself into getting work done and to try to make myself feel better and just kind of any like strategies and like tips that I have found like help me when I'm feeling this way so hopefully they help you and I'm so sorry if you're going through this it is not fun to be feeling sick especially when your mind wants something that like your body isn't giving you it's just so strange like when your mind's like I can do this I want to do it but then your body's like no we're not doing that and this year I've struggled a lot with my brain not feeling sharp enough to work and that has been a really hard one I don't necessarily necessarily feel that way today so if that ever happens to you guys like let me know in the comments what you do for that kind of stuff but it's like nine in the morning I'm having just a lot of pain so I'm in bed right now and right now I'm editing a YouTube video for you guys here's my little YouTube video for you guys I have a lot of like projects listed and I have a lot more all organized on my uh, what is it called like a flash drive kind of thing the this this box that I keep all the, the external hard drive I keep all my footage in so it's like 9 a.m right now and I've only been at this for like 20 minutes so basically my goal to kind of trick myself into this is I'm just setting like a little timer and I'm only gonna do this for like 20 minutes or something like that and right now I'm just doing something really basic I have another video over here for you guys that I have edited the majority of but it's like a more detailed form of editing right now where I'm like 
preparing it like to be published and this one i'm literally just listening to what i'm saying and i'm editing out pauses and so this is like a task that i can do when i'm not feeling well just going in here and like cutting out the pauses and like ums and stuff that i can do today i can't do thing anything that like takes a lot of thinking but this is not a lot of thinking so i'm gonna get some work done on this i'm gonna set a timer this is what we're gonna do <laughs> and then i'm gonna do something to make myself feel better and hopefully like get my body like in a better place i just have to say i just absolutely love this shirt it's my 13 witches shirt it looks like a funky like band tee this is iron teeth clan and then it has the non black week and then it says like from now until the darkness claims us i just wanted to share my number one goal when i'm feeling really sick at least i try to follow this rule is to stay really hydrated so i'm going to refill my water before i get back into editing and i'm also going to make like a hydration drink i am still drinking coffee this morning i feel like i need to like wake up and it's helping but i'm going to like counterbalance it by like drinking way more hydrating things so that's what i'm gonna start with <laughs> to set a 20 minute timer it kind of feels like i shouldn't be sitting here for much longer like i need to go take a walk or stretch or something because it feels uncomfortable and like one of my feet fell asleep when i was doing this so i'm only gonna do this for 20 more minutes and then we're gonna take a break and that's where we're at but we're doing something we're making progress so that's good time to start <laughs> only six minutes into this video it says it is 50 minutes it was more than 50 minutes before i started editing this but we're getting there, getting there, getting there. Gotta make progress. I did my 20 minutes of editing and then I took a break. It is like time. It is 11 now. <laughs> It is time to, I need to make a smoothie. I was just trying to wash it. It seemed kind of gross. And I'm going to put on a 20 minute timer and just try to do the kitchen so that I can like make my smoothie breakfast thing. Or my second thing of water. I just drank all that and it's making me like so cold. I'm just kind of rambling. Anyways, I'm going to do a really quick 15 to 20 minute tidy with some music on. Make myself a smoothie. And I don't know, maybe take some more medicine. I don't know what else I can take. And then I need to stretch before I like try to sit down and do anything else and then i think i need to like switch rooms switch positions go somewhere else and work in my house not the bed because that like position is like not helping my back which is what's hurting really bad right now so i need to sit somewhere else that might work better so we're gonna do that let's do a little tidy together 20 minutes start
a little update i stopped editing my youtube video i have been probably for the last half an hour like transferring video footage to my this my brain is not working today my external hard drive and i put everything in like little folders and then i like number them all so i've been doing that my phone was dying so i didn't film any of this but i'm almost done with it and then i'm gonna take a break and i'm going to shower and wash my hair i literally washed it yesterday you could not tell but it was like after the pool and swimming and stuff if i didn't have it up it would just be this like fluff ball i'll probably show you before i get in the shower because it looks crazy anyways but i'm gonna do some like self-care things wash my face moisturize shower wash my hair i need to eat something else and i don't really know what so I finished moving over my video footage and it's like 2 30 uh, it took forever and i'm going to make myself some lunch i have like a couple things in there that are like snacks but although i'm not feeling like much better i'm really craving like a real meal like a pretty satisfying meal so i'm going to be making some thai noodles with some broccoli and some like Asian chicken meatballs. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like there's this really delicious pad thai that we always get when we go to London. And like, I wish I could just order that right now and I would eat that. So I'm feeling like I want to just make like my own. I don't have any chicken when you go shopping. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. <laughs> Like the noodles and the meatballs are already like pre-cooked. I just have to like kind of heat them up with sauce, but I do have to cook the broccoli. So I'm gonna chop those up really quick, toss them on the stove, just roast them a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just eating a snack, some cheese and some, these are so random. We got these from Trader Joe's. I've never had them before. They're these like random pizza crisps. I don't know, so random, but they're like, <laughs> This really light uh, thing. I don't even know what they are. They just taste like a pizza roll, but like in a chip format and they're really good. my lunch i made homemade thai food it was so good i have so much energy now like the fact that it was so delicious really like gave me a spark you know it was good i think i'm going to make a little espresso latte and i'm hoping that gives me some renewed energy and it's really like late in the day this is like productive non-productive day i really wanted to finish editing a whole youtube video today but maybe later i'll finish that i think i need to write for like an hour that's gonna be my goal write for an hour i don't know if i'm gonna work on my fantasy project i might work on my contemporary romance project that i've been working on i think i've mentioned this very briefly in a vlog yeah i have a contemporary romance series that i'm also writing and i just want to get into writing every day again or like most days i'm in the first draft of that one so i know exactly what i need to write next because i used some dictation and i like did the dictation of like three or four chapters and just said everything i wanted to happen and some key like dialogue points that's something i definitely do when i'm not feeling well is i use dictation i also need to do some dictation on some of the scenes that i just added in my fantasy so i might do some dictation in the fantasy one too and like get somewhere with that but i think i'm gonna do like an hour we'll see
setting a 20 minute timer and turning on some Taylor Swift and doing a super fast cleanup of my bedroom right now and then starting my skincare and I think I'm gonna blow dry my hair. So we're gonna do that and it's five o'clock and I still haven't written, which is a problem. But I am finally feeling a bit better. The shower, the heat, that really helped. I think I need to, after I tidy for a couple minutes, I need to stretch. I keep saying that, but I haven't done it. And then I might preemptively take some more Advil. Hopefully that helps and then I've already made dinner because it's going to be what I had for lunch, um, so that's good. And I might just throw on a load of wash and then tell myself I have to write until I have to change the wash over until my husband gets home. We're going to turn on some Taylor Swift and do a real quick tidy because I don't really have like a good space to do my hair and all my face stuff. So we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. 